Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Andrea from Andrea Speaks TV. Listen y'all, thank you so much for continuing to support me on the channel. Listen, I want to tell y'all about something that just recently happened in Georgia. It was a big story in the metro Atlanta area. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it y'all, but then I want you to go and do your research. Here's what happened. There was a school system, okay? Listen to me very carefully, okay? There was a school system. There is a school system in the metro Atlanta area, okay? Uh, students that go to this particular, uh, in this particular school system, uh, they may or may not qualify for uh, free or reduced lunch. Obviously, they have to pay for their lunch uh, for whatever reason, right? I'm going to talk about the school lunch program in just a minute, by the way. So please stick around. Listen to this video in its entirety, okay? Some of you all who are new to the channel, you let me know, okay, Andrew, we couldn't see you. But this is a an audio-only upload, okay? You'll be able to hear my voice, <coughs> but you won't be able to see me. All right, follow the story now. Follow the story. I'm going to make a very good point. There's a school system here in Georgia. You can look it up, the metro Atlanta uh, area, right? <clears throat> News got out, okay, word got out with people in the community and surrounding areas, okay? It actually ended up being all over the state news, right, state of Georgia news, that the children who, for whatever reason, their families uh, didn't have any money on their lunch account, right, or couldn't pay for their school lunch. Maybe they didn't have a school lunch application. I don't know what the situation was, but word got out, okay? Word got out that these children were going to have to eat cheese sandwiches, okay? Cheese sandwiches for lunch, okay? Because for whatever reason, their families, there was no record, okay, or money on file for them for the school lunch program. Word got out, and do you know that someone in the community, okay, uh, got together, Got, got a thing started, right? An online, um, or, you know, I say online, but a way where the people in the community could donate money. And they raised so many thousands, thousands of dollars, y'all. They raised so many thousands of dollars, okay? Where it turns out that the school district ended up making some type of agreement or something with the Arby's Foundation. I want y'all to look this up. I can't, I'm not making this up now. The school district ended up making some type of arrangement, right? The Arby's Foundation is going to take care of the balance, okay? And from my understanding, the person who organized the uh, fundraiser, I don't know if it was GoFundMe or one of those type of platforms, they're going to refund the money, okay? They say they offered to take that money and let the school district use it any kind of way. For, not any kind of way, but to use it for a different way to help the children. Uh, from my understanding, the school district, the school district declined. And now the money is going to be refunded, y'all. Those people were mad. People were mad about uh, hearing that the children were going to have to eat cheese sandwiches, okay? Now, people have a right to feel, okay, however they want to feel. I'm not saying they're right or wrong, right? Um, but listen, here's the point I want to make, okay? And I want to know your thoughts on it, okay? Paying for, okay, I guess people look like, you know, people may have looked at the fact that, okay, cheese sandwiches, that's not a meal and that's not fulfilling. But listen, y'all, in most cases, it may not be right, okay? You want more than just a cheese sandwich, okay? Um, and I don't know what grade these children are in. Maybe it applied to all grades. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but what I want to say is paying off while that could be looked at as a good thing, right? A good humanitarian thing to do, okay? I'm not criticizing it. I'm not making fun of it. Uh, I'm just reporting information. I want to get your thoughts. Taking care of the school lunch balance so these children can eat, okay? Can be seen as a good thing. But, okay, it still does not solve the issue of the kinds and types of food that's being served to these children on the school lunch program. 
at these schools, okay? How many of you all, when is the last time you look, you been to a school and you looked at what these kids, these students were being served for school lunch? Some of you may say, okay, well, Andrew, I remember how school lunch looked way back in the day when you were in school. My question to you is, have you looked at the food and the types of food and the drinks, uh, milk, okay? In 2024, students, kids are still being fed milk, milk for breakfast, milk for lunch. When was the last time you as an adult drunk milk for lunch? Does that even make sense, y'all? When the last time you had a hamburger with some french fries and ketchup and lettuce and tomato and a salad and, uh, you know, whatever broccoli you want to have as a side. And you said, hey, I want to drink milk. Who drinks milk for lunch? Think about that. Things are being done, y'all, that just don't make sense. And we're finding this out years later. We didn't really think about that back then. We didn't have the information that we know now. Why are kids being fed cow's milk for breakfast and for lunch? Think about that, y'all. Have you been inside of a school? Have you seen the school lunch? Is your child on the school? If your child is on the school lunch program, and by all means, I'm not knocking your decision to do that because everybody's situation is different. But I will say this. If you have a child who is on the public school lunch program, you need to check on the food that they are being served. Some of it, y'all, it don't even look like food. The kids are throwing the food in the trash can. Nobody wants to talk about that. Why is so much School lunch, school breakfast food being thrown away. Nobody wants to talk about that. They want you to believe that it's healthy food being served to these kids in the public school system. I'm speaking specifically about the public school system. Listen to what I'm saying, y'all. And if somebody know what I'm talking about, please add your thoughts in the comments. If you disagree with me, please add your thoughts in the comments. The public school lunch program. Look at the food. Look at the food that they are serving, y'all. Some of it don't even look like food. The kids don't want to eat the food. The cheese don't look like cheese. What is it really? Nobody wants to talk about that. If I'm lying, tell me I'm lying, y'all. Why doesn't anyone want to fix the school lunch program? Real solutions. Why not? At the high school level, y'all, kids can, you know, they, they, they have the vending machines, right? Where they can go and get snacks. Maybe they want to get something to drink. I'm talking about high schools now. You got to do your research, y'all, okay? If you have children in the school system, you got to go into these schools and see what's going on. Don't just send your child to school. Know what's going on in your child's school, your child or children's school. 
They're not going to tell you this. You got to see it for yourself. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. Some of this food, it don't look like real food. The kids don't want it. They throw it away. They eating chips for lunch, y'all. They bring in snacks. They eating snacks in place of full meals. They don't want to drink milk. They don't want to eat pizza and then have a carton of milk with pizza. White milk, strawberry milk, chocolate milk. It's 2024 and the kids are still being served milk. For breakfast, milk for lunch. Why? Why? Nobody wants to talk about that. So all those people donated money towards a good cause. Do they even know? Do you even know? Okay. If you have a parent, I'm sorry, if you have a child, children, niece, nephew, cousin, sibling in the school system right now, kindergarten through 12th grade, pre-K through 12th grade, do you know what? your child what do you know what your child is eating do you know what your student is eating do you even know if they're eating here you are sending them to school every single day thinking that they're getting breakfast thinking that they're getting lunch and you don't even know that they're not eating they're not eating the food because they know that the food isn't good. Sometimes the meat don't even look like real meat. And I'm not knocking anybody that work in the school cafeteria because I know at the end of the day, they're coming to work and they're just doing what they're told. They have a menu. You can look it up. Every school district should have a school lunch menu. Look it up and see what these kids are eating. You wondering why they're coming home with an attitude. You wondering why they don't want to go to school. They don't like the food. Tell me I'm lying, somebody. Tell me I'm lying. You're wondering why they're having problems. You're wondering why these children don't want to go to school. Look up something, y'all. There's something called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs, okay? At the base of the hierarchy of needs is food. Your physiological needs food. If the kids are going to school hungry, if they're staying at school hungry, coming home hungry, how are they going to learn? And it's a cycle that keeps repeating year after year after year. And it's the issue, the root cause of the issue is not being addressed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, y'all. Why are real solutions not being put forth to fix the school lunch program? It's not enough just to pay for children to make sure they're eat. You got to make sure they're eating well, that they're eating healthy. They're in their development stages. 
All these things are important for their growth, for their mind, for their development, for their social, emotional well-being. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. And that's all I'm going to say about that for now. Take care, y'all.